I've seen worse. Have you? Yeah, that'd be even good. I'll go. Sheet rock gets wet. That's what happens. That's why we didn't want people wandering around in here. Just real quick and I'll get out. <laughs> Me? The type in question is directly above here. But it was spreading over here, so it was leaking into this apartment. Wow. Them down there, you know? Yeah. Alright, Deputy Sol Mark Sullivan, Deputy Fire Chief, Family Fire Department. We were called, we were notified of an alarm at this uh, large elderly complex housing. And when we arrived, there was no fire, but there was a burst sprinkler pipe. It caused uh, significant water damage, especially to the north, north, north wing of this facility. And it looks like there's probably 20 units that won't be able to be occupied because of the water damage. Uh, what do you attribute it to? Is it due to the cold weather, or do you know at this point? We don't know at this point. And um, how many residents would you estimate are being displaced from those units? Uh, right now, we have an estimate of about 20 to 24. And any plans yet on where they may be going? Uh, the housing authority is taking care of that right now with the local uh, local housing. And this is is this a three-story complex? It's a four-story complex. And how many units? You know, roughly how many units? Maybe uh, I would say about 200. And how many would you estimate are um, uh, in, in inhabitable? Well, right now I think there's about I said 20 to 24. We have other areas isolated because we had to shut the electricity, but hopefully they'll be able to get turned back on and get back into their units. Thank you very much.